we can bring you the result of our online poll now. We asked you, would you feel comfortable travelling to China given the current climate? More than 8,000 of you responded. Here's how you voted. 35% uh, said yes. 55% uh, said no. And 10% are unsure. And, Leigh, I'd love to get your reflections on that. That's... Wow, that's a, quite a result. Would you feel comfortable suggesting to people to go to China? Would people believe me if I said they should? <laughs> <laughs> You're very funny. Well, <laughs> let's just say they would believe you. What would you say to people who obviously were not in your particular role who might want to go or send their children on exchange or...? China is a very big country, but the China of now, I think, is different to, say, the China I went to in year in 2000 and then, you know, the, the subsequent decade. I think you have to figure out what to be mindful of. I mean, right now I'm super wary of um, anything purporting to be protecting national interests, uh, national security, I should say. It's just such a blanket term and I don't want um, naive people going there. If you're going there fully educated, about the risks and, yeah, it's a, it's a complex question. It's a huge country. I have very mixed feelings about it. I mean, you know, what makes a nation? There are so many things. Are you ever going to go back? Never say never. Mm. But um, right now I'm not allowed to go back. I'm not allowed to apply for a visa until 10 years are up. Mm. Well, and if people want to improve their Mandarin, they could go to Taiwan. Mm. <laughs>